Welcome back, guys. I'm Metal7. This is Football Manager 2018. We are in Poland with Rooks Czerzu. Czerzuf. There we go. Um, eh, it's been it's been rough. It's been rough, but hopefully the corner has been turned. We had a tough bit of our schedule out there, and you know our team, they don't work and they're not determined. And so when you start to fall behind, it quickly becomes 05. Now, you were here for this one. I said, you know, if we won these two, we'd probably be okay. Um, we did win the next one, 3-2. You can see there, Hamill got two goals, and uh, Saliga got one as well. And, you know, 22-36, we thought we were doing good, but then they strike back. We luckily came out in the second half and got another one, and they, they got one in garbage time, essentially. And uh, Hamlet played spectacular. Um, most of the team played pretty good, to be honest. And then we had this match, and uh, we missed a penalty shot early, early in the game. Then they came back and hit their penalty shot, like, right after that. So this would have been, like, 43rd minute. 46 minute, right? And then they just poured it on. And we just played worse and worse and worse. So this was the match where I started penalizing people. So anybody who plays under a six gets fined a week's wages. Anybody who plays a six to a 6.2 gets um, whatever it is. Uh, they get a stern talking to, right? Um, so that's what we did for that one. And then we did it for this one as well. Um, there was one person that wasn't happy with his fine. One person that accepted his fine. Uh, I want to say one person that wasn't happy with being told he was bad. Everybody else was okay. This one, nobody complained. Um, we didn't have anybody to fine in this one, but we did have a few um, people to tell off. And then we did make sure that Novak was, was praised for his game. So you have to go both ways with that. Um, I'm hoping that this type of thing will raise the discipline rating for my manager as well, because that way you don't have to deal with as much little crap, right? And mine was my lowest because I hadn't been a very stern manager. So we'll see how that goes. So then we came up against this match right here. Um, I'm not even going to try to say this, but but, but right there. Um, and we played pretty well. Uh, Setla came in off the bench. He's injured, but he played spectacular. Um, Casper was injured, but he played fairly well. Um, Balicki played great, 8.3. Uh, Hamaluk got another 7, played another good game, 7.8, although he didn't get a, go a game, a goal. So again, we went back in. We praised everybody with a 7-0 and, and above for the game. Everybody we could. Then we praised everybody because it was the beginning of the month for their training. Um, and then, uh, let's see if I can find it. Somebody in here. There we go. The captain said everybody was behind me, so I praised him for his conduct outside of the outside of the, you know, um, in the community essentially. Um, so that's good. We are uh, supposed to have a good crowd, and uh, they say six thousand nine hundred tickets. So like I say, um, average attendance for us this season is fifty three ninety nine. That's spectacular. I say this team, this town de deserves a good team. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Um, the, one of the bigger problems we've had is um, we have to have one under 21 in on the field at all times, um, which I didn't realize until just recently because our injuries were such that we just keep it in under 21. It was difficult. Um, we did just get back uh, Kulajewski um, and Kulajewski, Kulajewski. How about that? Um, and he's under 21 and he's played most of the season back here. So. We haven't really had to think about it, but he's been out for quite a while. And you can see here, still injured. Um, supposedly they're okay, but you know, with those two out, oh, man, it 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 becomes tough all of a sudden. Um, we end up running Mizerski and uh, somebody else. Oh, we were running uh, Pijel. But he had to start because Golney is, he's dead. <laughs> no, six days to two weeks, he just got injured as well. Um, so taking a look at injuries again, season summary, uh, according to a tooltip little screen thing that popped up, the average injuries per player is 2.5 per season. So that's what you should expect. Um, so you can see 
Yep, more than that, 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 more than that. Okay. Um, those three all had kind of suspect previous years, but they've kind of balanced out this year. There's a couple sevens and fives down here as well. Again, all of these are averaging more than 2.5. Pretty much our entire team is injury prone, but we already said that, right? So the match today, let's get into it. It's uh, 7,000 tickets sold. That's very good. Um, breezy 59 degrees. Eh, that's not too bad. It should be a good, comfortable football game day. Um, out of the last few matches, we've won one. They've won two. They're in eighth position. We're in ninth at the moment. Uh, we don't necessarily have to win this one. Um, it'd be nice. Uh, but you can see they are the toughest opponent we have left. They're eighth. We've got 10th, 15th, and 18th left. So hopefully we'll get this one. But uh, this one is less important. I'm running back to our just a regular 442. I was, we did some crazy stuff just trying to keep an 18 year old. Uh, we only had one midfield winger, um, and uh, Saliga is under 21, but he does not like playing back here. So we were last game, we actually played with two advanced wingers and two strikers, and these two back here. So, um, Adrian here dropped his uh, complaint about not enough football, so he really only likes to be up here, so we've taken him out of this one. Really, the injuries back here are going to be what, what determine what happens today. So, let's, let's give it a go. I think we'll be okay, but 35 points might have, you know, they said 35, and then they said, well, 35 might be a lot more than you need. You know, look at that. Look at this stadium. This is what I'm telling you. We're a bad team, struggling to stay above relegation, and uh, this is the type of uh, this is the type of support we get from this fan. Actually, at one point we said, you know, it's you're having a strong, you know, you're having a tough game. You know, what seems to be going on? And one of the options was, well, the fans just aren't behind us. And I was like, well, that's crap. We can't, we can't go that. Let's see. He doesn't like Adam. Let's see. Does he have uh, no bravery? No, his bravery is okay. Determination's okay. I'm not sure why he thinks we should go hard on him. I don't see anything there that... I mean, he's 32 years old. Do we just try to injure the old man? No? Oh, okay. I'm not sure why he'd want to do that. Um, but we can... I'm not really seeing anything there. Right only. All right. So we can go put him on his left. Okay. So let... See what happens. All right. So we are in the white at home. It is a white out. I should have worn my white shirt for this. Finally, you get to see a home game since we've been noticing how well we've been selling out. We've got the banners in the background and everything. And uh, of course, here we are almost 10 minutes in and there's been one shot and it wasn't ours. There we go. We got one. It was a half chance even. Wasn't on target, but it was a half chance. Oh, uh, yeah. Casper might be a hard time. He's already down to 72%. Uh, they're beginning to get more shots, but they have been... All right, what can we do here? Balicki. Oh, yes, Balicki in to Kulueski. Kulueski. Yes. There we go. one nothing. That is good. So clear cut and a half chance for us. This has been the best formation for chances for us. Um, you know, we've, we've experimented depending on the personnel we've tried, just trying to figure out what we have. Um, you know, we looked at running, um, you know, a 4-2-3-1, um, because I thought those were going to be the players I have next year. But since we've decided just to just burn the whole place, to, oh my gosh, Balicki. Balicki's making a strong, strong argument to stay. He's been so good the last couple matches. Um, anyway, since we decided to just burn the whole thing down and start over again, I'm just mostly back to the 4-4-2 if we can put enough uh, players on the field to support it. I don't know that it matters that much at this point, but... All right, so we do have more shots. Four of the five have been on target. One clear cut, two half chances, 55%. This is a team that if we can stay up, we're fine, right? That's not the issue. We've got the technicals and stuff, but because of the determination and the work rate, we can't... If things go wrong, we're done. We're out. Um, 
you know, this is one of those teams that oh, we should have looked at the stat pack. Um, I don't know if we can get to that now. Analysis? No, doesn't look like it. Um, I was wondering if how many games we've won or lost um, based on who scored first. Because I have a sneaking suspicion that this team doesn't win very often when the other team scores first. Um, I don't really see... Sorry, my nose is... I think I got mustache hair sticking up in it. Um, I don't really... S I think we're fine. We're just going to start. We might try to sub somebody in for Hamaluk. Um, he's not playing spectacular, but he's not playing badly. Uh, that was a little bit interesting. There we go, Blicky. Come on, can you get the cross across for him? No. Went back all the way back. All the way back to the captain there. He feeds it up to Sakura. Back into Urbanchik. Blicky. Oh, Blicky didn't even try for it. Didn't even try for it. We had a pass earlier where the player was right here, and we were we were attacking this way. And he was he watched it and it rolled right behind him. And he looked at it and he just stopped and watched it roll all the way over to one of the opposing players who was way over here. Didn't try for it, just watched it and said, yeah, don't want it. Said, yep, that's our work rate. That's what I expect from us. It's like, yeah, it's a good pass, mate, but it missed me by six inches. I, I can't be bothered to stick a foot out to grab that. Anger comes out, grabs that one. I'm going to praise. I've never done this before. I, don't. I think for this team, though, fragile egos. Of course, I praised him. Now they're going to give up a goal. All the way over here to Beauregard. I wonder if that's actually... That's probably not that far off a of pronunciation. There we go. Blew that one wide. I mean, look at all the fans there. Look at them. Chorzuf, you are way too good for your team. Way too good. At least this version of your team. Somebody tried to do the right thing by putting together a bunch of high-skilled players or what they thought were high-skilled players, but they were such low-character players. You know what I'm saying? All right, I think we got to sub him. Do we have somebody we can't? Yep. Midzerski. We're going to put him out for the home fans here. He's about to retire. Um, Setla. Okay, Przbecki goes in. No, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to do this, and we're going to put in... Yeah. Camille likes to play on the left. He would, I say, he's not great back here. He wants to be up a little bit, but... You know what? Whoops, that's not what I want. Cancel. Tactics. Bam. Why not? Put people where they're happy. We got to run out another 25 minutes here, 30 minutes. They're trying to get back into this. I'm going to do a concentrate, a little cheeky calm concentrate in there. We actually have controlled possession, which the last few we have not. I think I did put us on short passing as well at some point. I'm not sure if we're still on short passing. But our passing has been... Oh, Zeglia. I just put you in, buddy. There's Beauregard. Oh, we just let him run through. But Hanger gets a hand out, does a great job. Taking away all the space, getting big, pushing it to the side. Can we get ahead on it? Good job, Balicki. All right, Hamelock. Just run that thing down the sideline. All right, they've got another throw in there. They're pushing here towards the end. Oh, great tackle, Sloma. He puts it all the way up to Hamelock as well. Just feed it out to your left. Don't, don't. Oh, to the right. Sloma's charging. We got all sorts of people coming in. Sloma makes a great little leap over the people, feeds it into the middle there. Urbanchek gets it over to Sakura. Oh, did Urban it come back to Urbanchek? Oh, they called it an own goal. Okay. Do we have replays on? We do. Good. I want to see that one again. But we didn't get a replay of it? Why did we not get a replay of that? Because it's decided to turn off all replays, despite the fact that they're on. It has done this before us before, I think, in this save. Um, goals. And um, I think I want red cards. 
How about penalty appeals? Disallowed goals? How about that? Now, we're going to come back and watch that sucker again. There we go. All right. Blicky. This was a long one. I forgot about that. Hamlock finds the charging Sloma coming up the right side. We actually tried to um, attack the right side the other day. So Urban Sheck. Oh, yep. Came over and he just headed it on accident. He was just charging and just bounced off his dome and in. I don't think that was a purposeful head. I think he's just looking at us on the ball, just thunks him. All right. Jump up here to the top. That should be it for us. Got a minute left. Are we gonna we gonna have another shot at a goal here? Licky heads that one back, way back. All right. They feed it into the middle. Up to oh this. Oh, he messed up. He should have been a little more patient, but he felt the felt the felt the footsteps. Heard the clock ticking down. Rushed that one a little bit fast. He had people. He could have held it up for a second, I think, and got a goal out of that. All right, we just booted it long. Slow mo. Got that one into Sakura Balicki. Urban check feeds it up. Oh, we were off sides. We were all off sides. Everybody had to back up. That's fine. Just waste a little time. All right. Well, at least we got one good win in front of the home fans here. We got the old man out. Take a bow, essentially. There we go. They duly delivered. Fans will be pleased with this, this victory. I agree. So let's go ahead and end the... I didn't do the pep talk, but we're going to go ahead and end that. Eventually. And we've got some players to praise. Look at that, an 8.3 for Balicki. 8.5 for Sakura. There we go. There's three people in the eights. Uh, seven, eight. I got a lot of people to, uh, to tell they did a good job this game. I could have sworn we click leave match already, but apparently not. I've had a problem with that. I don't know if it's not seeing my click or I'm just not clicking it. All right. We'll do the press conference real fast. Um, uh, say we should stick with him. Um, Giving his all, hopefully that attitude will rub off. Um, yeah, he was outstanding today. Yes, he was. Sakura, um, let's see, he had an assist, so that is going to be a superb quality of chances. Um, somebody was watching us there. Uh, I think we should probably take a look at how the dynamics are playing out. Um, match cohesion is very good. Um, locker room atmosphere is very good. This was one of those things that the board wanted from me. Um, despite having four concerned or unhappy players um, and he does have a couple people that agree with him so this is this is the only negative those four unhappy players um, and locker ship, leadership support you see is up to average we're still a little red but we are up to average so negative we've only been at the club a short time failing to positive uh, positively influence but now I have a good reputation when compared with the players that's interesting because we're not it went from a negative um, our reputation was much below, and now somehow it's better than them, all within one, but I don't think it's changed. No. One and a half stars. That's what we came into this at. So my reputation hasn't changed at all. The players we have are still the same players, and yet somehow now my reputation is better than theirs when it was much worse, even though nobody's reputation has changed. I don't know. And we can see here level discipline is four. I'm hoping that all this fining and yelling at people will help bring that up. I don't really care about goalkeeper stuff. Um, it might be nice, but um, is what it is. Um, domestic player bias. We're in lower leagues. I can't scout outside the area, so that's going to be what it is. Um, loyalty to players. That's about to take a hit because I'm about to dump a bunch of people. Handling team discipline. 85%. Um, Reacts to breaches of club discipline or whether or not they're likely to... Um, well, that has just come up. So hopefully that means that this number will come up as well. Uh, managing finances, we've done a good job everywhere we've been. Hands-on approach, I do a fair amount, not everything. 
tactical consistency. Yeah, uh, this season would probably made a little bit of a hit on that as well. Um, media handling, I guess I'm doing okay. Um, I'm not sure about this interaction. I communicate well. I don't do the team talks now. That's probably what that comes from. Um, and my reputation is thirty percent. Um, maybe I need to look at this rather than this, but so that would take it to there, which would, eh, I guess it's not quite thirty percent, guys, but close enough. All right, uh, we will be back for at least one more match here at the end of the season. Probably the maybe the last match. Last match is a home match. We'll come back for that one. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. Comments, suggestions, shares. You know all that stuff. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Cheers.